Let's see the role of the basophils in the allergic response. So we know that they have the receptors for IgE and they can degranulate. But there's also an independent of IgE activation of these basophils. And this comes from the contemporary view. When you have an allergen and there's a damage produced on the surface of the cell, we have activation of the epithelium and we have production of several different mediators. Now, TSLP interleukin-25 and interleukin-33 activate basophils. Even if they're not activated by IgE, they activate these basophils and then they produce interleukin-5, which will target eosinophils. In addition, this basophil that is activated through these mediators will produce interleukin-4 that will produce activation and maturation of B cells with differentiation into plasma cells and production of IgE. This IgE can directly identify the allergen, but remember that it can also activate basophils that have receptors for IgE. And this is what characterizes an atopic response. In addition, the interleukin-4 will stimulate the innate lymphoid cells type 2, which were also activated by those mediators from the epithelium. These activated cells will produce interleukin-5, which further stimulates the eosinophils, but they also produce interleukin-13. That's also a product of basophil activation and they both will stimulate further proliferation of Th2 responses. So it is complex. It goes many different ways, and there's a lot of uh, interaction, but we still see these three cytokines, interleukin-4, interleukin-5, interleukin-13, as being critical in the allergic response. So this is what's being called TSLP mediated activation because this begins with that uh, contemporary hypothesis of allergic reactions that will not be dependent on IgE. And the other activation of basophils is IgE mediated activation. Now remember that TSLP could lead eventually to plasma cell and IgE production, so there may be a mix. And this is where I found some publications that mention that there's a little bit of a different balance between different diseases, whereas food allergy will be more predominantly IgE-mediated activation with the basophil degranulation, all the way to eosinophilic esophagitis, which, according to these investigators, could be more typical of a TSLP-mediated activation of the basophils. So the other cell that is critical in the allergic response is the eosinophil. Now let's take a look at the eosinophils. We've already mentioned that interleukin-5, uh, the receptor is present in eosinophils, and it signals through the JAK-STAT system to produce maturation, survival, and activation of the eosinophils and it signals through JAK1 and JAK2. Now, interleukin-4 uh, will also produce maturation of the B cells with production of IgE that stimulates the eosinophil. So both the contemporary and the traditional theories will have different ways of stimulating the eosinophils by many different ways. And it will produce uh, the maturation survival activation of the eosinophils but also the degranulation of these eosinophils.